What's good, y'all? It's your boy Teddy B, and I'm back with another um vlog. So today I'm gonna do a a few minute vlog about uh, some artwork that I got from a good friend. Shout out to Murray. Um, she's really been holding me down with the artwork and whatnot. And so today I'm just gonna start off by showing you what I received beforehand, and then um, what I received yesterday as the the upgrade, which I I like both of both. They both won't go on my wall because I like both of them for very um you know good reasons so first and foremost this is i took this off the wall to um just to compare this one to the new one that i got yesterday so first we're gonna look at this picture oh uh, can you guys see that pretty good can you see that yeah there you go there you go so obviously this is um it's a, a drawing of a camera because anybody that knows me well knows I'm into photography and videography and stuff like that. So this is a camera. Um, also, anybody that knows me knows that for the most part, a lot of people either call me Teddy or Bear. So that explains the paw prints. And then in each little finger of the paw print is a different personality trait of mine, which I, I thought was really special. This is very important and very like feel good to me because people go out their way to you know do this kind of stuff and they don't have to you know what i mean um i'm really appreciative of this kind of stuff so obviously there's a let me see if i can get that in the camera one of my most it's backwards to y'all, I think. But one of my most most famous catchphrases in, that you'll hear me if we're out and about talking is, don't just wish for it, work for it. Um, also, there's the DMV thing right there. Like I said, there's the camera buttons and stuff like that. Here's a closer look at the paw prints. I'll explain what's in the paw prints once we get to the other. There's my name, Teddy B. And of course, there is Murray's artistic signature. And this is the original copy. I love this so much because it's like, like I said, I have so much artwork on my wall. I'm, if y'all seen the um, blog that I did for Tangi a month or two ago, uh, uh, showcasing the artwork that she did for me, um, then you know I really love this. I really love this artwork. You know what I'm saying? So I'll explain what's in the paw prints once I bring out the new picture. So without further ado, we're just gonna put that to the side. Um, this is the, the, the new picture. This is not the new picture, it's from the other side. Um, to Ave with a heart from Murray. And then the date, which is the day that she got this and the size. So when I get a frame, which I'm kind of going back and forth about, do I want a frame and I might just put it on a wall like this. Then I know what size to get with the frame. So this is basically that picture, but upgraded in a in a, a good way I feel like um so she really took her time and basically painted the picture you know what I'm saying so as you can see we have the original 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 bring it back this way a little bit yeah and then you have the painting so Obviously, it's a camera still. Um, the paw print is red. The whole outlay is red, white with a little bit of black. Anybody that knows me know that's all I really wear is red, black, and white. Um, so, it's a lot of color added, the blue background. Um, so, let's get into the the characteristic traits. So, there's a heart right there, that which means infinite love. Anybody that knows me know I'm all about positivity and spreading love in the world. So, um that's one of my strongest probably not biggest personal traits that i have you know what i'm saying i feel like no matter what you believe in no matter who you believe in no matter you know whatever you think your purpose is on earth that you should always work towards spreading love because you know there can never be enough love spread a lot of people don't get it so i feel like you really need to just work on spreading that you know what i'm saying so um other than that we can get back to the next one which as you can see would be music and the camera another small little camera 
which would be two of my biggest huh, let me see if I can get a close up there you go so next to the heart it, it, you can see the music and the camera um music music is like two of the biggest music and the photography is two of the biggest outlets I have right now um I feel like uh they they serve their purpose very good I don't know how much long I'm gonna be into photography if you heard like uh one of our latest podcasts I said in the podcast that I'm looking at about another maybe two to three year window of photography and then I'll probably be done. Um, it's a beautiful outlet and I just, you just, yeah, it's just lovely. So now we're going to look at this and I just, I just love how, I just love how this looks. So the third one, you can see. The third one is a power button, and um, obviously, <laughs> when it comes to my life, I like to have, you know, power. I like to have control over, like, my life, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like everybody needs control over their own life. A lot of the time, people spend a lot of things, uh, I feel like a lot of the time, people, they out here living for, um, for other people, you know, and... I feel like that's how you really just waste your life away. So I feel like you need to have your own power. I feel like you need to have your own discipline, your own, you know, creative aspect over your life. You know, everybody's given their own life. So there's no reason for somebody to live their life and then try to control yours. You know what I mean? Um, other than that, it's just like, that's just the, the brunt of the power thing. And then next, as we can see, Excuse it my it, uh when I put this up and I pull it away like that. Excuse my camera for being like blurry. You know what I'm saying? It's just refocusing, but it's cool. So next we have the the king's crown and the black under it. So that's a representation of black king. Um, I really Murray did this one on her own for the most part because although I do feel like I'm one, you won't really hear me calling myself a black king. You know what I'm saying? Like, kings don't really call themselves kings. They kind of just do what they do, and then everybody else just... Well, obviously, they have symbolism in a, in a position of power, too, for the most part. But, obviously, you just kind of do what you do, and then everybody else has their own opinion of you, so be it. Whether good or bad, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah. So, also, the last one is a play off the first one. I don't know if you can see that yeah it's a heart and it's a symbolism for kindness um so i guess to reiterate what i said on the first one is like for the most part nobody's perfect but for the most part you kind of just want to spread love and spread kindness because a lot of the negativity is overflowing everything right now you know what i'm saying um people go through so much in their life of course we're in the midst of a pandemic and whatnot People go through so much in their life that they they forget that you have to have fun to okay, kind of counterbalance and counteract everything. Without no fun outlets or relieving outlets, you're kind of just like going to oh, always be like a negative person or always be a sad person and whatnot. So that's a representation of me. And again, I really thank her because she really got this down to a T as far as like when it comes to my personality or whatever. Um, obviously in the middle, there's a shirt with the money sign on it. Um, this is just explaining what one of the bigger goals is and not, not to start a clothing line or nothing, but just to have financial stability. You know what I mean? Um, everybody's probably pushing for that in life. And that's really self-explanatory because you already know what kind of situation the world has you in. Um, under it is another microphone. It's a microphone. And everything that I do, when I used to make music, when I do podcasts, when I interview other people on TED Talks, um, just almost everything that I do in general revolves a microphone. This is pretty much my life right now. And um, even when I'm on the game, playing the game sometimes with my friends and you know, you kind of just in the party talking, like everything is under the microphone. Everything is revolves around the microphone right now. So, can't leave that out. Um, of course, we have the DMV. The DMV down here. See that? Of course, there's the catchphrase 
could see that don't work don't just work for it don't just wish for it work for it um of course we have the teddy b and again it's backwards to y'all but you know you can see it so and we have the teddy b you know what i'm saying and then we have the mary signature so again i'll give you a look at the the two differences oh i can get them both in the same room now okay just have to lean back a little bit yeah so now this was so dope now but now when i hold it up together it just looks like a rough draft now you know but this wasn't a rough draft though this was actually just like something that was so thoughtful because she doesn't have to you know this stuff takes like time to do especially like you drawing and having to have a steady hand and you got to get the the personality chased down and you drawing a camera and then to actually go back and to paint it over and she did it <clears throat> Um, I'm guessing she might have did it freehand because I I never gave her this back. You know what I'm saying? Like I this is I just pulled this off my wall. You know what I mean? So this is really just like it's really humbling. It's really humbling. It's really like a good feeling to know that your friends can do stuff for you like this and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Because we do have um quite the connection that is, and it's just me with a few people. You know what I'm saying? So. Again, this is the, the artwork. I'll be hanging this up on my wall. Thank you so much, Murray. I love you. Long time. Really appreciate you. One of my great friends. Um, Like, comment, subscribe. You can also subscribe to her YouTube. I'm going to try to tag that in the description. I heard you could do that now. Um, But yeah, this has been Teddy B. Blackman. And um, I'm out.